So, you've decided that you're ready for RDAs and RTAs, but you aren't quite ready to make your own coils, and you're wondering, is there an easier way? Yes! Yes, there is! Pre-built coils are a great way to start without all the complications of, I don't know, triple-fused Clapton core alien coil. But there are still some basics that you need to know before you start. Having said that, if you want a more in-depth look at pre-built coils, check out the blog by clicking the link in the top right corner. Now let's get started. Your first question might be, what is a pre-built coil? A pre-built coil is exactly what it sounds like. It's a coil that goes into a rebuildable atomizer, like an RDA, RTA, RDTA. For the most part, all you have to do is put the coils in your deck of choice and prep it for wicking and vaping. Next, what type of coils are there? Pre-built coils come in a wide variety. Some are super simple and some are complicated. If we sat here and listed them all, this would be an extremely long video. So we're gonna stick to the most popular ones. First, we have the Clapton, named after Eric Clapton because, well, it resembles a guitar string. This type of coil has a larger, lower gauge wire wrapped by a thinner, higher gauge wire. Next, we have a fused Clapton, which is essentially a Clapton coil, except instead of having one wire in the middle, it has two or more. Another is the Alien. Now this has multiple cores with one wire wrapped around it, similar to a fused Clapton. The difference is first the outer wire is Clapton, then decored, then stretched, then wrapped around the cores, giving it its wavy look. Now let's talk about the different types of wires that are used to make these coils. First, there's Canthal. This is probably one that you already know and are familiar with because it's used all over the vaping world. This particular type of wire has the highest resistance of all the wires that we're gonna talk about. So this wire contains iron, chromium, and aluminum. It's great for high temperature situations. It's also pretty much just a great all around wire. Next, there is Nichrome. It has iron and chromium as well as high levels of nickel. This is perfect for low resistance builds. Another is stainless steel. And yes, it's another member of that iron chromium family. This wire type is perfect for temperature control modes, but it can also be used in wattage mode. So those are the different types of wires, but did you know that they come in different shapes? Round is the most common of all of them. It can be used for easy builds by itself, or you can use it as the core for more complex builds. Then there's ribbon wire. This wire is flat, giving it more surface area, and more surface area equals more flavor. More often than not, these are used as cores, but you can also use them for your more complex builds. Now in the end, it all comes down to what works best for you. And the answer to that is it really depends on what kind of vaping experience you want. What may not work for someone else just might be the perfect way to vape for you. But there are some things for you to consider. For example, the thickness of the wire. Not all wires fit on all decks. Another is ramp up time. The more complex the build is, the longer the ramp up time. The size, the texture, the surface area, all of these things can determine the type of flavor and clouds you get. Man, that was a lot of information. But don't worry, we broke it all down in a blog. Click right up there to read it. It's easy to read, it's easy to follow, and it makes things just really simple. So what type of coil do you wanna use? Clapton? Alien? Fused Alien? Comment down below and let me know. Also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, stay wild.